Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be doing a similar problem to yesterday and it's going to be intersection of two arrays. So in this problem given two arrays return an array of their intersection. Each element must be unique and you may return the result in any order. So the way you can get an intersection of two arrays is pretty easy. So one way is you can turn them both into a set and then you just check um, for every item is it in the other item. So like in this example nums one would become one two and then nums two would become two and then you just check like okay for every item in here is it in here. So then our final result will be two. So that's one way to do it. You turn them both into a set. Another way is you can sort. So let's look at this example with sorting. So if we have four five nine and we have four, four, eight, nine, nine. You can also do it this way. And what's gonna happen here is we can actually just get rid of this now. And you just have two pointers, kind of like the same thing we did yesterday, where you have two pointers and you just check, like are the elements the same or is one greater or is one smaller? And so let's say this was four and this was like one, for example. In fact, we can even change it. So let's say this is one. So because we're starting at the start and because this is sorted, we know that one can't be in here, right? Because if we if it was, we would have already seen it. We know one can't be in here, but but four might be in here. Like we might be able to like keep going up and we might be able to find it. So because this four is greater than one, we're gonna move this pointer up over here. And now these are equal. So if they're equal, we're gonna put this result into our result. So we'll just say like four. And we wanna avoid duplicates. Like let's say, this had like three or four fours, like this was like four, 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 four. So anytime it's pretty simple what we can do to avoid duplicates, we can just take one of the pointers and just keep moving it up until we hit another number. So if this was, for example, let's just say this was four, 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 right? Like four, 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 and we were on the here. Now we can say it's equal, but we wanna make sure we don't keep hitting this equality. So we just pick one of the arrays, let's just say array one, and we keep moving it up until we hit a number that's not a four. So we move it up here. So now um, we could move them both up, but moving them, moving one up is fine. Like that'll do enough. So now we check, okay, four is less than five. So we've already checked this four. So we don't need to like, and four can't, like even if four was in here, we already looked for it. So we didn't need to do that, but five might be in here. We still haven't looked because we're only on four. So we're always just gonna take the smaller one and move it up. So we take the smaller one and move it up. Then same thing here. We've already checked for the five. If if we would have seen it, like we would have added it in already because we're at the eight we, and this is an increasing order. So we move the five up to the nine. Now, same thing again. We always move the smaller one up if they're not equal. So we move this one up. Now they are equal. So we put in a nine. And as before, as soon as something's equal, you just pick one of the two rays and you keep moving this up until you hit a new element. So in this case, we'll just be out of bounds. Then once we're out of bounds on one of them, we're done. So we just return four and nine. So very similar to yesterday's problem, you either use a sort and a two pointer or just a set intersection. So let's code up both of those, it's pretty easy. So one thing you could do, and so for set, there's a couple things you can do in Python. So you can say like set one equals nums one, let's say, except set. So you can pass in an array into a set and it will turn into a set. So set two equals um, set nums two. Now there's a couple operations you can do on sets that a lot of people don't know. So one thing you could do is set one minus set two, which will mean every element that's in set one, but not in set two. You can obviously do the other way around set two minus set one. So that'll be every element that's in set two that's not in set one. You can do set one plus set two, which means every element that's in either one, it'll combine them together. You can do set one and set two, meaning the element has to be in both. And you can do set one or set two, which I think is the same as set one plus set two. We can even try this out. So let's just say, um, so if we print a couple things, so set one plus set two, let's print set one minus set two, and let's print set one and set two. And finally, the last one is the or. So I expect the or to be the same as the plus, but let's see. Don't recall exactly. And finally, we'll just return this one. So let's return this one. So let's see how this goes. Maybe plus doesn't exist, unsupported. Okay, so, so plus is the same as the or, I am pretty sure. So I guess there is no plus, but it's the same as the or. 
So let's see now, hopefully all these work. Okay, so let's take a look. So for this first example, um, set one minus set two is every item that's in here that's not in here, which is the ones. The second one was set one and set two, which is it has to be in both, which is just the twos. And then the third one is it has to be in either one. So that's that. And we can even show this with another test case. Let's say we did like two, three. Can we run this? This should provide us the right stuff. So let's take a look. Yeah, so set one minus set two, which is the ones. Um, set one and set two, which is only the twos. And then the and then the or is any item that's in either one. So all these work. And so we can even make this a bit shorter. So we can just say return set nums one and set nums two. So it has to be in both. And um, I misspelled it. Okay, and when you return, um, when you return a set, even though it takes a list, it's still like the type is still fine. I think it just converts it into a list. So you can technically do, do this if you wanted to, but I think this is already done for you under the hood. Could be wrong about that, but I'm fairly certain that's the case. So either one. Um, so now let's do the two pointer. So for the two pointer, pretty easy. So we're gonna sort both of these. So we're gonna say nums one sort, nums two, sort, have two pointers just like we did yesterday. So I equals zero, J equals zero, result array. And we'll just say while I is less than nums one, uh, length nums one, and J is less than length of nums two. So essentially these both have to be in bounds. We'll just compare them for equality now, right? So if nums one I equals nums two I, then we want to put this item into the result. And we want to take one of these arrays and keep moving up the pointer till we get a new item. So we can just say like while i is less than, we'll just move up the first one. While i is less than length of nums one and nums one i equals the item we just put in. So the item at res negative one, we'll just keep moving this up. So we'll keep doing that. So our other case is, um, our other case is if nums one is less than nums two, then we wanna, remember we wanna move the smaller number up. So we'll say i plus equals one here. This should be a j by the way. So i plus equals one. Otherwise um, we move the other one up because it's the last case, right? So else j plus equals one. Finally we can return result. So this also works with a sorted two pointer. Um, oh, right, this should be nums one i. Uh, let's see, nums one i. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, uh, we got a wrong answer, so we probably screwed this up somehow. So let's see how we screwed this up. So while this is fine, if nums one res one appear, pen this, while i is less than nums one, and nums one i, uh, this is fine. Else if nums one i is less than, oh, this should be j. There we go. Okay. Okay, so there you go. So that's the other solution. So this one is going to be um, time o of n log n and space o one. And the set solution is going to be time O of n and space O of n. So whatever you prefer, just two different trade-offs. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be all for this one. I think I explained enough of it. Uh, and as always, if you have questions or anything, just uh, write in the comments and I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.